Whether you're building out a new feature, testing your application, or just want to see how your project looks to your users, having actual data is incredibly useful. Laravel gives you the ability to use factories to generate that data and then push it into your database using Cedar. So this is all about factories and Cedars in two minutes. When you scaffold out a new Laravel application, you are given a default database Cedar class. Let's take a look. This allows you to input data into your database when you run the PHP Artisan DB Seed command. The Cedar class only contains one method by default, which is run, and that method is called when the PHP Artisan DB Seed command is initiated. Right out the gate, we can use the DB facade to input that data instead of using the default factory that's already initiated for us within this class. Running PHP Artisan DB Seed gives us the user with the fake email name and password that we would have expected. Now manually typing out this data and specifying which attributes you want to actually enter into the database can be tiring, which is why we have factories. If we want to create, let's say 50 users, user factories, which is the default factory created for us when we scaffolded our Laravel application can be used to make that even more seamless. So running PHP artisan EVC again, now we have 50 new users in our database. And notice how each one has a fairly unique and mostly normal looking name. A factory, and again, the user factory is a default one scaffolded out with the Laravel application, gives you the access to have fake information, whether that be a name, email address, and even sentences and words. Once you have your model's data structured with fake attributes in your factory, then you can use that factory in addition with other models factories to create relationships. For example, creating new posts for a specific user. You can call additional seers that you might create with the, this call method with an array of specific seeders that you create. For example, if you have a user seeder as well as a post seeder, but you also could run these additional seeders by passing in the PHP artisan DB seed command with the class of user seeder or whatever that class is for that seeder function. If you omit the class, the DB seed is just going to use the original database seeder class. You could also seed your database by passing in the seed parameter with migrate fresh. So instead of having to manually input data, whether through your front end, if you have that functionality already built out or through a database explorer, now you can use factories to manipulate, to create that data, then seeders to put it into your database so you know exactly what you're working with as you build out your application. Mm -hmm.